Hey guys, this is Mike and welcome to another how-to video. I should start off by saying that this may not be the best way to photograph your miniatures, however it is super cheap, easy, and very effective. I'm on a lot of miniature painting forums and quite often I'll see pictures taken that look like this, or this, or sometimes this, and they don't effectively show the hard work that you've put into your miniature. So first off, and probably most importantly, is proper lighting. Now a light box is definitely not necessary, but I'm going to create something similar using two sheets of Bristol board that were a dollar each. You can also use fabric, but Bristol board is way cheaper. You just want something that is non-reflective as possible. So here you can see that I've got a full sheet of Bristol board, which is just thick black paper. I'm not sure if that's a universal name for it or if it's called something else in other places. I'm taping this to the underside of a shelf on a bookshelf. You could also just push a small table or a desk up against a wall. You just need to be able to create a smooth slope in the paper so that there are no definable edges behind your miniature. Now I have another piece of bristle board that I've cut in half and this is going to be a light shield that's blocking unwanted incoming light. And I'll show you later the difference between a photo with and without this light shield. If you're not using a bookshelf then you'll have to get creative with how you block the incoming light or you can just do without it. It makes some noticeable difference, but it's not essential for a good photo. When placing the miniature, I put it just behind the shield and not on the slope. I've also seen other people elevate their miniature on a stand that's painted or covered in a material that's the same color as the background. Next is to choose your light source. You should preferably use bulbs that produce natural light. A lot of incandescent and LED lights have a yellow or blue tint to them and this also tints your miniature colors. These are Ot light lamps that a lot of people use for painting due to their bright natural looking white light. And preferably when illuminating your miniature you'll want at least two light sources to reduce or even eliminate shadows which will make your miniature really pop in those photos. I'm not going to be using Ot lights for my pictures however, instead I'll be using these studio lights. Believe it or not, they were less than half the price of the Ot lights. Each one is covered with a light diffuser and inside there are four bright bulbs. When choosing your bulbs, you'll want to go with something that is 5000K or above. Anything over 5000 takes on the qualities of natural daylight. And of course, I'll be using two lights for best effect. I'll post links for all the different lamps that I'm using in case anyone is curious. So what if you don't have bright lamps? Well, you can just use actual daylight, which is infinitely cheaper. You just need a room with lots of windows, or even take your miniature outside and tape your Bristol board to a wall around your home. The only downside, of course, is that you can only take good photos during the daytime. And if you live in the north, you only get a few hours of sun each day in the wintertime. So now I'm going to move in super close, and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do with my camera to get the most out of it. To get the best quality picture, you'll want to do everything manually. So start off by turning off your flash. I'm doing all of this on a Samsung phone, but all of the modern phones that I've played around with have pretty much the same features. I've got my camera set to manual mode and now I'm going to zoom in and then manually focus on a specific focal point that I want the eye to be drawn to. This miniature has a glowing eye, so I'm making that perfectly in focus before zooming out again. Once I have the miniature framed the way I want it, I'm going to change the shutter settings and the ISO. For those of you who've never played around with your manual settings, the ISO is how sensitive your camera is to incoming light and your shutter changes the amount of light allowed into the lens. I always set my ISO as low as it will go and then I slowly adjust the shutter until I can clearly see the miniature, but the background is just a blur. Then just hold the camera steady and snap your pic. Here's a close-up of what's on my screen and as you can see at the very bottom the ISO is set to 50 and the shutter is set to 1 over 60. This likely varies from camera to camera and based on the amount of light you're using. So play around with it until it looks good on your camera. And here's what that photo ended up looking like. Next I'm going to remove the light shield just so you can see the difference that it makes. So here's a picture with it and then without. It's a much more noticeable difference with a larger miniature where you need to have your camera back further to get the shot. I typically use black for my photos but just for fun and so you can see the difference I'll use a white background. The only difference here is that I'm using white paper instead of black. Here's how the final setup looks and I'll zoom in and show you what I'm doing from the perspective of my camera this time. So 
So first I'm zooming in and getting the miniature in focus. Now I'm framing the miniature with the zoom and then I'm changing my ISO and shutter settings to the same as they were with the black background. And here's what the snapshot looks like. I left the camera in place and took a picture with too little light in this picture and then I turned the flash on for the next one. You can see they just aren't as pretty to look at. So that's it. I hope this video was useful. As always, a special thank you to all my patrons for supporting these videos. I really appreciate all the positive feedback. If you have any questions or you know of any ways to improve on my setup, please feel free to comment below and thanks for watching.